All right. I just saw the Dave Chappelle comedy special on Netflix called Sticks and Stones. And I want to tell you, first of all, it was amazing. <laughs> it was hella funny. And the fact that he brought this to our faces after just releasing two amazing Netflix specials earlier this, earlier this year, it seemed like, wow, okay, Dave, you're killing the game. Somebody put out an APB on Dave Chappelle because he's killing the game. I'm sure you got an open warrant right now for killing the game. That's how Dave Chappelle is rolling. Now, I want to speak to this because I think this is important because this goes beyond his joke telling, all right? As a, as a comedian, a guy's a genius, all right? So let's put that over there. Let's put that aside. We already know that, right? I want to talk about the righteousness of Dave Chappelle. Now, a lot of you guys, or some of you, hopefully, know who Patrice O'Neal was. He was a comedian who was unparalleled in speaking truth to power from his own vantage point, okay? I ain't talking about what his politics was, nothing like that. I'm just saying he kept it real for himself. He died way too soon, but he himself is an embodiment of what it meant to be going down with the ship, calling it like you see it, being that guy that stood up for yourself and your thought, your belief, and the joke. Whatever the joke was, whatever the message was, you told it. And that's what they, that's what Patrice O'Neill did, and that's what Dave Chappelle does. It's called righteousness. Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones is righteous. You may not agree with his point of view. He's not giving a sermon on the mount. He's telling jokes. It's not the same thing. He's not Jesse Jackson or Barack Obama. He's a comedian. But I find what's known as inspiration. And I don't mean that inspiration like you can be tall like this wall and play basketball or you can get a chainsaw and cut down the trees that are in your way and your pathway to success. I don't mean that type of inspiration. What I mean is inspiration because he is doing the thing and he ain't apologizing. He's just keeping it 100 for himself. The trick to this all is the more you're honest with yourself, the more honest you are with your audience. Dave Chappelle leaves it all on the field. He knows people going to get upset. Doesn't care. He knows bloggers are going to blog. Doesn't let that influence what he does. He knows some people might be like, I'm not going to hire him for this particular thing. That's your prerogative. That's the beauty of Dave Chappelle's special. That's the beauty of what he does. He inspires guys like me to just speak our truth. Hope he inspires you as well. Dave Chappelle is a, a, a shining light in a sea of darkness and cowards afraid to keep it 100. You could just feel there just trying not to go there like, oh, I'm afraid, I'm scared, I don't want to get in trouble with the Illuminati or whatever it is that they're afraid of. More like some executives that would cut them a check. And in my business, it's more like, you know, some journal, some, some owners of said platform that won't invite you on, whatever, right? So I'm inspired by truth tellers. They remind me that I'm not alone in my quest to speak truth to power. And it's because of people like Dave Chappelle, because there's others who push the envelope, it encourages me to continue to push my envelope. We ain't getting no younger. If you're a truth teller, speak your truth while you can. Oh, oh, and, and specifically one joke. I'm going to tell you one joke about Dave Chappelle. I'm not going to tell the joke. That would be whack as hell. I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is Dave Chappelle has a bit about guns. <laughs> His gun bit was worth the price of your Netflix account by itself. That's how good it was. Follow me at Real Time Black. Peace.